What's been your biggest accomplishment, you think? Bouncing back, number one, is refusing to listen to the negative chatter in my own head, refusing to uh, listen to other people's perception of me, creating something from absolutely nothing. So I got, you know, there's the books, there's the TV, there's the, all that stuff. But my biggest accomplishment is being willing to give myself a thousand second chances. And every time I got to 9.99, I pressed reset. Yeah. I didn't ask permission, I gave notice. Yeah. At some point, I have to stop asking, can I be great? Can I be brilliant? Can I be okay and still be accepted? I just stop asking permission and just gave notice unapologetically and not in a braggadocious way, not in a way that shrunk anyone else, in a way that said, I only got one life and I'm gonna ride this one till the wheels fall off. And then all the other stuff came. Wow. As a result of a decision I made. Right, but it was a decision you- It was a decision. I remember Ian McKellen saying to me, just because it feels uncomfortable doesn't mean it's not good. And I remember on my f doing the first X-Men movie, it was a l I came in late, I felt a bit behind the eight ball. I started shooting four weeks into filming because uh, I was replacing the guy who was playing the role. So I came in feeling a bit behind the eight ball and there was a rhythm going and I, I just felt a bit uncomfortable. And, and I, I remember him giving me that advice. He goes, your stuff is good. And un even if it feels uncomfortable, that can sometimes be right. I think so often, not only on film, but in life, we so want to feel comfortable, but that doesn't always bring the best results. If I look back, I think some of my more successful things, in my point of view, have been the things I've been most nervous about and probably most unsure when I began. Uh, there's something about jumping off that cliff, which uh, means you end up going for broke and probably end up taking a few more risks, if you know what I mean. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they ain't, they ain't happen. You gotta get real doggish. You gotta get downright funky if you wanna make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you wanna be ordinary, you ain't even gotta listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, Ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. You put extra on top of extra, uh, on ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says, he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. What I'm encouraging you to do is every single day do one thing that causes your palms to sweat. Every single day start training your brain to hunt for opportunities to step into that unknown where possibility lives. And if you keep on doing it, you're literally gonna build some new neurological hardwiring, a new mental, a new pathway in your brain where you become, it becomes easier. Because as you know so well, all change is hard at first and it's messy in the middle and it's beautiful at the end. We all live inside a bubble, right? This is our world. We work over here, we go get our coffee over here, we go to this park over here. This is our world. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful.